Hi guys, welcome. I'm Megs. How's everyone doing? I hope you're doing great. So I finally have a flip through of this journal for you guys. Um, I'm super nervous about it. I know my lighting's off, that's one of the reasons, but this is like the fifth time I've tried to film this and I just can't seem to get the lighting right. I don't know what's going on. So I'm just hoping for the best. I hope you guys can see okay. If not, please be understanding. <laughs> I just can't seem to figure it out, and my husband's never around when I need him, so. <laughs> um, actually, everybody's asleep, so I'm trying to get this done while everyone's sleeping. Um, so I, this is um, the Woodland Journal. Well, it's not really just woodlands. It's actually a wildlife woodland wonder type journal, so it has a lot of different elements to it. Um, this is for Donna, by the way. Hi, Donna. I know you're going to watch this, so hello. Um, and I just want to say really quick, and hopefully I won't be all over the place, this is going to be a lengthy video. Oh, surprise, surprise, coming from me. <laughs> but um, I know it probably will be. For one, this is huge, but I just want you guys to remember that these videos, although they're for everyone, they are specifically for the people who have purchased the journal. So, the, you know, I have to send this out of state to its owner, and this is kind of for them so they can have this, you know, um, so they can get to know their, their book. Um, you know, it's not, I can't sit and flip through it with them um, in person and show them things that are in it or how some things were made or where things came from, so... Just keep that in mind. That's why um, if I t talk about something about how it's made, I'll try to keep it quick. I just want to let you know in case you're new to this or in case you're like, what the heck. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is for Donna. And um, Donna had some things that she wanted in her journal. She wanted animals. She wanted a woodland type theme, but she just mainly wanted animals. She really likes bunnies. She said she really um, loves animal babies and their moms. She really liked the watercolor look. Um, what other things? She likes the the um, color. She likes all, she named like every color. It's my girl. <laughs> but she said she really likes um, greens and browns when it comes to like woodland themes, but she really likes the color blue. What else can I say that she mentioned? Um, she said that she really, really, really wanted penguins in her journal. So when I heard that, I was like, how am I going to do a woodland journal with penguins? <laughs> well, we'll just make it a wildlife journal, right? <laughs> so don't worry, we got you covered. We got the penguins, girl. And um, what else can I say? She also mentioned that she is a Christian and she would like some um, either Christian sayings or anything that is religious uh, Christian in her book. So, so you're going to see Bible verses and things like that. <clears throat> okay, so this, I wanted this to be unique. Um, oh, sorry, I keep leaving things out. The other thing is she wanted um, a keepsake journal. Now for me, I name my keepsake journals, um, my keepsake journals are at least a three inch spine and keepsake to me uh, or how I describe it when I sell my journals. It just means that you're not looking for a straight writing journal. She said she did, just needs a little bit of writing space, but there's actually quite a bit in here. Um, just a little bit of writing space. She's not really worried about writing. She just wants a lot of bells and whistles, a lot of ephemera and things like that, like um, a lot of stuff to look at, like a looker, you know. So, so basically a keepsake journal um, coming from me is going to be something that just has a lot of my artwork in it, or uh, not artwork, but, um, you know, like mixed media pages and things like that. Ooh, that's about to fall. Let me save your life real quick. Okay. Sorry about that. Damage control. So, um, so there's a lot of 3D ephemera in here <clears throat> or pieces. So the pages have a lot of, um, thickness to them <clears throat> and things like that. I did a lot of work on all the pages. Um, there are no white pages. And let me see, I didn't actually count the pages, <laughs> um, but I do know there's over 200 beads in this. <laughs> Let's see, I used a couple big bottles of Fabri-Tac, that was a fun fact, and let's see, there's lots of different textiles, there's um, dried leaves, real leaves, fake leaves, there's fake moss, all different kinds of moss. So I'll just get into it instead of talking about it. I'll just show you, right? So the other thing before I start flipping through <clears throat> that I wanted to... Uh, tell you guys is 
the digitals that I use. Now I think it's really important when you're using a digital to give, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting over a cold, is to give um, the digitals credit, or the artist credit that uh, made the digitals. Now um, I'll try to say them as they come in the book if I notice them, but I probably won't remember all of them because I used, <laughs> don't die when I say this, but I used 27 different digitals in here 27 different digitals but some of them were just like one p one little image so I didn't use like 27 whole kits or anything like that I just used um 12 different shops 27 different digitals um so most of them were just like a, a couple of images or a page here and there that I just I used um and then other ones were mostly animals. So anyways, I'm going to, I'm, I'm having a hard time today, aren't I? I'm going to um, name them off right now just because I don't want to type all this out. There's no way I'm going to type all this out in the description. So um, here we go. So poppiness is, okay, so the first I'm just going to name the shop and then I'll name the, um, the printable or the the digital next to it. So poppiness is the shop. Um, print a, uh, I think it's printable quotes about nature. Mrs. Cog's crafts. I use wildlife small and furry. Um, forest creatures, squirrels, and penguins. The art archaeologist. I used the blue dream eco dye. Artie Mays. I used printable collage sheets. Um, Mrs. Coggs, I used birds, so I guess I wrote them in different orders here, sorry. Liana Scrapped, um, Spring Fling was the digital. Um, Artzology Art is the shop. Butterfly Bliss was the digital. Um, then there was Eco Dyed Digital. Um, and number three was Eco Dyed Paper Junk Journal? I don't know. Um, the Old Design Shop is a shop and um, I use the Vintage Woodland Animals 1 and 2. Um, Artie Maze again, A Winter's Tale, and Fern and Mushrooms collage kit. Um, Mrs. Coggs, another kit was Into the Forest. Musings by Nikki is a shop and I used her Peculiar Nature word cards. I used a lot of those in here. Um, let's see, Liana Scrap again, Into the Forest, I don't know if I already said that. Razor Crafts, um, I used Age Butterfly Rustic, and the Woodland Wonder, which I think is one of the main kits that I used in here, the Woodland Wonder. Um, let's see, Love Junk Journals, I used the Patchwork Backgrounds, and I think that was it. So I want to say that's it, unless I'm missing a page. And then I got this fabric here from Creations by Mariola on um, Etsy. So I'm sorry to take up so much time, but I just really felt that was important <laughs> to say that. Okay, so this fabric, first of all, if you're wondering why does it look dirty, it's because it is dirty. <laughs> I wanted it to look like, um, actually, I didn't want it to be dirty to begin with, but I was trying out different mosses and stuff on the front, and um, it did, gosh, it looks so dark, it did get dirt on it all over it. I didn't even know this particular moss that I had bought was actually, like, had dirt in it or dust and it got all over the cover and I had already put the cover on so I was just like oh my god what am I gonna do so I had to damage control and I got out my inks and just inked it all up like it was dirty so it was just the last resort I couldn't wash it it wouldn't come out so so I just kind of made it look like I don't know maybe it was lost and left in the forest maybe there was an explorer and her life's work of all the animals that she had put into this book that she had captured and all the moments she put into this book and she left it in the woods for somebody to find. I don't know, but it's all dirty looking. But I don't know, I'm going to hold it up because I know my Zoom's not working. So if you can see down here, I have all the, I hot glued all this stuff on and um, the this little piece right here, um, I just colored that with alcohol inks, and then I put all this moss on there, and that moss is really fun. The green moss is really fun to use. It, um, it's actually the moss I used, if you have been watching me and you watched the 
in October we did um, a little candle holder that we did. It was really cute with Frankenstein. That's the same kind. Um, it's really fun to use, but you got to do it little piece by little piece. So it's very time consuming. And you're about to see I used a lot of it. <laughs> so that's the front. And I did not do a closure. This is the beautiful view of the front or the side, excuse me. So this is what it looks like. Isn't that so pretty? It's got lots of dangles, lots of stuff coming out. Um, yeah, lots of strings, some of which are not supposed to be there, like this one. <laughs> oh, this video is getting better and better. So yeah, I'll show you all that. And then let's just do the spine real quick. Um, okay, so this is the spine with the, oh my gosh, sorry with the tassel. I don't know if you can see it like that. I'm, it's hard to show with the tassel. The tassel is extremely long. So I'm actually going to take the tassel off and then show you. Set it down because it does sit down. So I'm trying to be gentle because I don't want to take all the moss off but it does stay on pretty well. I haven't had any fall off yet. Fingers crossed. So I'll show you the tassel up close real quick. I'm sorry I'm so slow. I'm like so nervous right now. I don't know why. Like I've never done this before. But um, So here is my tassel and I was super inspired by my favorite junk journal maker ever which I just recently found. Um, her name is, well her, her YouTube name is Crafty Lore. I'm sure if you watch junk journal makers you know who she is. She's amazing. I don't know how I just recently found her, but I, I just came across her videos not too long ago, and I'm in love with them. And her her journals are my absolute favorite. I'm in love with them. Um, anyways, but she did a, a dark forest journal that is just so gorgeous, and the tassel was so beautiful, and I just wanted to recreate it in my own way. So this was my interpretation of that. Uh, hopefully it doesn't look like a bunch of hod podge to you. It looks cute, I hope. But um, So it's much different than any journal I've, or tassel that I've ever done before. This is, um, yeah, it's just lots of hand beading. Lots of hand beading. And um, one thing that I really loved about her tassel is... I saw a bunch of stuff on her tassel that I already had and that I planned on using. And I was like, oh, I have those mushrooms. Um, mainly these mushrooms right here. I have a bunch of those and I wanted to use a, those in these wooden beads. And um, so, yeah, she did like these beautiful, um, she used um, sari silk and um, twine and stuff. So I wanted to do that and then do it my own way a little bit and add a lot of beads and... Um, yeah, I think hers came out much cuter, but I really like mine. I wanted it to be extra long. <laughs> and so, yeah, so that's what I did. There's tons of beading in here. It took me hours to do this. But, um, yeah, so there is a lot going on, but it really is pretty, and I am happy with the way it came out. Now, the top part, I liked her wiring a lot, but I wanted mine to look like a nest. So I was trying to shape it like a nest. <laughs> it, I don't know if it came out looking like a nest, but... Yeah, so, um, and then I put these feathers in there. There's one there and one on that side. And, um, yeah, we have lots of animals. There's owls in here. Let's see if I can show you a couple. Not spend too much time on this, but got to be careful because I'm already tangling it. I already can see I'm going to have to untangle it before I pack it because <laughs> I think from flipping it around so much, I've already tangled it. So that's one thing that is kind of, ah, about this one this kind of a tassel with all these beads is that it can get kind of um, tangled a bit. You just got to handle it with finesse, I guess. Sorry guys, I do want to kind of get that before it gets too out of control. So let me just flip that around there. There we go. That's much better. Okay, so we have some um, leaves on here. I'll just show you a couple. There's some leaves. I did um, she likes dragonflies, she said, so I added dragonflies. This was one of my first boho beads ever, and I put that on there. I made this bead right here out of fabric and um, a paper straw and some beads. And then I added some, oops, and then I added some chain to it with a feather at the end. 
and I just love these beads right here. They're so pretty. So yeah, it just there's lots. There's lots going on. <laughs> there's um, little hummingbirds up here. There's trees. There's a porcupine. <laughs> um, there, there's crosses and just all sorts of fun stuff. She'll have hours and hours to look through this. <laughs> so and then I always add a piece like this that can be detached just because usually I make my tassels like um, like Jessica's from I'm a Cool Mom if you watch her. that's I love the way that she makes be, uh, her tassels so I started making mine pretty much like hers. Um, so yeah, I love the way she makes hers. But I kept this element in there because um, that's usually I put this on my regular tassel as well. So this is another handmade bead that I made. It came out kind of crazy, <laughs> but I kind of like it. Um, there's more owls and wings and mushrooms, so yeah. So the whole thing can come off, and if she wants to just take this little part off and just put that part on, she could. If she wanted to take it off and put it on a keychain or something, you know. Or she could just take the whole thing off and use it, take all the beads off if she wanted to, which, I don't know, you could. <laughs> All right, so here is the spine, and this is a five-inch spine, you guys. I wanted this to be different. <laughs> I wanted it to be unique and different, and I have never seen a five-inch spine on a journal before, and so I went for it, and there it is. And it looks cute. It doesn't look bad. It looks cute. I like it. Um, I was nervous. I'm not going to lie. I was like, oh, my God, it's going to look horrible. After I started it, because at first I'm like, oh yeah, that'll be cool. And then I was like, oh no, it's going to look horrible. But I think it came out great. It took me hours to, the, to do the spine too. Because all of this um, moss is all like little tiny pieces. So I had to do little tiny piece by little tiny piece. But it came out cute. And then that's faux fur in the middle. Just fake fur. You know, to represent the animals. Let me see. Sorry, I'm like holding it up to my face. <laughs> so yeah, so there's fur in the middle and then we have all the moss and then I hot glued. They're very secure. Everything's really secure in here. Um, so then there's Spanish moss hanging out and then I put some leaves and some grass and all that kind of stuff in there. So hopefully you can see it. I'm trying to show you. Hopefully it's coming across. And then um, there's a couple feathers up here and some acorns. And at the very bottom, I don't know if I can show this, but oh, it's impossible. There are dangles. Can you see all the dangles? <laughs> That's what I meant by 200 beads. These are all dangles. <laughs> there's a lot. And that is from all the signatures being sewn in. Um, so what I like about doing this many dangles, which I always do dangles, but never this many. But what's cool about this is not only does it look cool hanging, you can't really see it hanging because you can't see from that point of view, but it looks cool hanging off, but also, um, she can always take these and, cause the strings are long enough and cut them all off if she wanted to and use all of these beads for whatever she wants. So it's kind of like my little gift to you, Donna. If you don't want to keep all these on there, you can take them off and use them yourself. And they're all just so beautiful. So I hope you like that. <laughs> it does look really unique though, for sure. Okay. So let's just get into this bad lad. Oh, there's the top <laughs> and there's the acorns. I'm trying to make sure I'm in the frame there. <laughs> so, all right. So, let me just get in here. I'm so, like, nervous right now. I don't know why. Okay, it's just so big. It's so big. Okay, so. Oh, my gosh, I'm already hitting the camera. All right, so we open her up. Looking through the lens. Okay, I think you can see. I just want to make sure I'm good. I'm just so over refilming this but I'm just worried about the light okay so opening it up <laughs> we have um, this collage here that I made and um, it just says this journal belongs to and I just did all these different cutouts here made it collage and then um, it says always be on the lookout for the presence of wonder and then I put moss all around that and I colored it in with um, with alcohol ink 
And then this is the beginning of the book. Just did a little collage there. And then here we have a little dangle with a little scroll inside. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so difficult to film. I can already tell you that. We're getting nowhere really fast, aren't we? So this little scroll inside, actually I'm not even going to open it. It's Well, I guess I will. Why not? I can always put it back together. It's just a little scroll and it's alcohol inked and then I put a stamp on there that is a note, you know, like a letterhead with a note on there. I just thought that was cool. So I'll put that back after. Okay. So here's the first page. And what I really love about this is it looks, it, it feels like it's one sheet of paper. It looks like it's one sheet of paper, but it's layers and layers. I just love how it came out. And I did a video on it, but I didn't show it. And now I can't find the video. So I just um, did gesso because I didn't like the print that was on it. I did gesso. Then I did some stamping in the Stazon inks. And then I just did some decoupaging with different rice papers and tissue papers. And then I used, what I love to use is this um, collage medium in vintage. And it puts that brown in certain areas. Like on gesso, it only colors certain areas. And I just love that. And this is my version of Nick the Booksmith's um, Raggedy that I put in there. And I just love her raggedies. They're so cute. If you haven't seen them, obviously go check them out. They're so cool. Um, and so, yeah, the back, this right here, the back is um, Jelly Plate, which is really fun. I love that. I did it with my golden paints, which I just love it. I actually covered up more than I wanted to because it was so pretty, but... Yeah, so I just um, sewed different papers together and did stamping and stenciling and all that. Um, and then some of that stuff hanging up. And sewing, lots of sewing. The whole book has tons of sewing in it. And then this, we did my oxides on the side. I love doing oxide backgrounds. Um, and then the same thing. Just collage. And then... So I'm going to put that to the side. And then this right here, we have this really cool paper that's really crinkly. It's like, um, almost like a parchment paper, but super crinkled. And then um, for this, I just cut out with my razor. I cut this out. Um, and then I just glued in, this is the back, you know, where your, where your stamps cling to. Um, the plastic that your stamps cling to, that's what I put on here. Um, and then the same for this one with the butterfly. Just was where the stamp went. <laughs> if that makes any sense. And then on the back, it looks like this. And it's just like little see through windows. And then we have lots of sewing in here. I tried to do as much sewing as I could. A lot of sewing, hours of worth of sewing for sure. Um, and then, so the beginning is kind of boring, not boring, but it's where she would do most of her writing, um, if she's going to write. I did, um, a lot of blank pages in the beginning, so this is just a little bit of stuff. This is, a uh, marbled vellum, and it's a pocket. There's just a little hole there, so it's a pocket there. Um, this is the art archaeologist, um, paper, or digital and I just love it her oh my gosh if you haven't seen her channel it's amazing but you should check her digitals out these this was her eco dyed digital that she actually did these eco dyed papers um, and then here's just a couple pockets and there's just little note cards for her to write on this is Artie Mae's oops Artie Mae's um, images on these and then actually this right here these little quotes are actually pockets too if she wanted to put something there. I guess I can talk to you Donna if you wanted to put something there. <laughs> um, there we go. So nice. Look at I found this little penguin. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Little penguin guy. So cute. And then here's a penguin page here. So we got our penguins. This little pocket here. Little I stamped those and painted them or markered them and then just colored that so you can write on it and then some paper that I coffee dyed folds out there's a little quote about nature 
Um, and then this is cute. We have this little card here. The background is from the jelly plate. And then I just did like this little collage. These were actually from tree stickers and I just kind of made my own thing for the little deer. And then the back is jelly plate again and then I just put stickers on it. And then we have this page. Um, so we just have this little card that I did. Little, got a D for Donna. And um, I think that's Mrs. Cogs. And then this is rice paper that I decoupage on here. And then the back I just did some stamping. So you can write on there. There's that pretty eco dyed background. I can't remember who from. And then we just have another journaling card. There's a room to journal on the back. And we have this. It's really cute. I'm sure I've showed you guys this one before. There's like fake grass and there's stones. And this is from um, Edith Holden. Just a little collage there. And the background is different types of papers. Um, yeah, rice paper and stuff. <clears throat> and then the back there's penguins. I just did a cool collage in here with some of that tape that we made from Nick the Booksmith. I love that one. It's so pretty. Alright, and then there's some more of that coffee day paper. Oh my goodness. And then there's another penguin. I just cut that page. This is some coffee day paper too that I made. And I stamped and did some more marker in here. Um, some messy stitching. I like messy stitching. I also took my um, razor and on every single sheet of paper in here I razored the edges and some of it you can tell more than others but I did razor all of the paper all of the papers in here. Um, there's more coffee dyed paper. There's a pocket with a bunny. Little collage. Little stamping. Little flips here. These uh, images are from a 60s um, little golden book encyclopedia. Yeah. And then there's just little flips. There's more of that art archaeologist. I did a little snippet here um, with these cool leaves, fabric leaves, and then um, some stamping. I wanted this to look painterly, this picture here, and I just went over it with my pen, my gel pens. Here's some more of that um, vel vellum, <coughs> marbled vellum. I don't remember whose background that is, but there's some stitching. Pretty simple stuff. It gets better later. <laughs> uh, this is a really cool, this is from Razor Crafts, that background. And this is from the cover, this fabric, so it's just a little flip. But you can do some secret journaling here. Um, Mrs. Cogs. This is some handmade paper from uh, following the treasure books tutorial. Um, so there's like lots of different stuff in here, seeds and stuff. Need a little tag out of it. And this is just some nonsense hand stitching there uh, with hemp. And I just like to rip holes and stuff sometimes so you could see the page behind it. I think it's kind of cool. Um, so this is the other side of that paper I thought was really cool. I just added a bear to him, to it. Um, so there's the forest. So I have to tell you guys something that I messed up on because I just have to. It's killing me. So when I did this, I had already almost made the book. I had to take it apart. It was too small. So then I decided to go big, right? Well, I had put in the inside cover or the inside fabric and I forgot to put on the outside cover, but I thought I already did it because I had put on my first layer of fabric. I always do two layers of fabric, you know, like an under fabric. So I wasn't thinking. So after I started sewing it in, I realized, oh my God, I did not put on my cover. So of course, then I have this, you know, showing through. And then I have these big gaps. That was the other thing. The reason I have these big gaps is because I was going to put, um, <laughs> 
a, um, an elastic band here so that she could add her own papers. But I started sewing the book from the back and I put the elastic band in the back, right? And then I had to leave for a few days. I came back and I sewed the rest of the book in and totally forgot <laughs> to put the rest of the bands in. But it's already huge, so it's okay. She at least has one spot to do it. But that's why I had these big gaps. That's why I had such a big um, spine. <laughs> oh my god, I could have died, seriously, after, after everything. I was like, really? But, okay. Anyway, so this is... Um, this is was a print, and then I added the owl, and I added all of these, you know, little things onto it. I just thought it fit in there really good, and did some gold foil pen on it. And then, this is another one of those papers that I made, where I did lots of layers. Um, I did gesso, and then um, just lots of decoupaging, stamping, painting. And yeah, it came out pretty cool and it feels like one sheet of paper. It's so cool. I just love how that works. <laughs> and I love how the coffee marks are two different colors, which was totally by accident. Um, but yeah, that's how, hopefully you guys can even see that. Um, yeah, there it is. <laughs> There's that. And then this is Edith Holden fold out. If I can unfold it. My nails are so long, I can't do anything. Really? Oh, it's the other side. No wonder. I was going for the other way. <laughs> so that's just an easy fold and fold out. And then um, I did some stenciling, and there's some ephemera. And then I did some glaze around here, some of the Tim Holtz um, glaze powder. I like this page. Um, this is the fox page, and that's on top of some avocado paper. Um, so she said she liked the watercolor look, so I did some loose, very loose watercolor um, stuff in the background. I just wanted it to look really like painterly, not perfect. So I did some markings, and I did some trees. I don't know if you can really see them or not. Um, some watercolor trees. And um, then I decoupaged the fox on there, and then did some messy stitching. I watercolored the back and did some washi. Uh, that's an Edith Holden page there, and then I put these uh, little tiny fox guys up on the 3D, um, the 3D tape, so they're kind of sticking up off the page. And then this page. Um, yeah, so cute. It's just a print. And then we got the bear, little tuck spot there. And I wrapped these feathers up in cheesecloth that was dyed, and then just did some stitching. See how the page is ripped? That's on purpose. So I went around and did some tearing of the edges and stuff, so it's all on purpose. <laughs> So more stitching, I put the little fox there, this is Edith Holden, and um, this is just a little tag, lots of inking, lots of stamping, I had all these little stamps so I just kind of put them together and made that little scene there. I like all the inks together, those are pretty. And that's some paper I made um, and baked in the oven, it came out pretty cool. Well, not, not made, I dyed it. <laughs> okay, this is a pretty cool page. So this is um, the envelope that I I did encaustic on. So, you know, with the beeswax, so I put the beeswax on it and heated it with the iron. So it's got that see-through look. And um, there's just little, what's in here? I don't know. Little note. And I didn't seal it. I just kind of left it open. <laughs> And put the, the stamps on there. And then we have, um, I don't know if you can see the 3D snow, but it's, oops, poofy snow. So I'm trying to hold it so you can see the puff. It's like puffy snow. It's so cool. I love puffy snow. I use it as much as I can, <laughs> especially in the winter 
for Christmas stuff. It got a little smushed, but it looks so cool in person. It looks like it's sticking up off the page. And that's just like a little snippet that I made down there with the little penguin sticking up off the page in the snow. I love it. Super cute. And then this guy goes in here. Um, and then we have... This is just a scrap with some stitching. This is... Uh, one of G. Kerr's fold-outs that she did that I saw on her channel and I just painted it so she could journal on it and stamped. And then we have just some nothing. <laughs> uh, so here is a package that I altered. It's just um, a package that I got stickers in. I did collaging on it. And there's a little mushroom stamp in here, and then some vellum back here. This page has lots of different moss on it. If you can see all the different kinds, I have three different kinds of moss on this one. Um, yeah, one, two, three. Pretty cool. And then that's some paper I made with alcohol ink on vellum, and then for the pocket, and then Mrs. Cog's image, and then I put moss. Can you see the moss? I hope it's not too dark. Oh, I feel like it's really dark. Oh, I'm going to be so bummed. Okay. Oh, gosh. So, um, this was really cool because I did this on the jelly plate, and um, the the tag, and I had it, I, what is that? What is that called? I put down a hymn, a hymnal page, and um, it left the music notes and the words onto the jelly plate, and then it, I picked it up with the paint. So I don't know if you can really see it, but there's like hymnals all over this. It's so cool. <laughs> like bars of music and words It's in the background. So I thought that was really cool. It's all jelly plate paint. And then that side, I just put these little cute creatures on there. She really likes, um, Donna said she really likes cutesy. She likes cutesy animals, so... I tried to be cute where I could. And then we have a little pocket here. There's actually a double pocket. This is a pocket and then there's a pocket behind it. So we just have a little little owl journaling card here in the front pocket and then the back pocket is this guy. I just did some collaging on here and um, yeah the back is some stamping and um, embossing powder. Can't talk. And that's coffee dyed paper in the back that I made. Whew, we have a long ways to go. I need to talk less. Alright, so coffee dyed paper stamping. Artie Maze. This is a cool tag on top of oxides and little collage. I love this one. Um, so the background is um, lots of gesso and different layers. And then I just sewed these images down. They're so cute. And just did these little cards that she could journal on with um, Christian. I couldn't remember what was on it. These are Christian cards, so little religious sayings on them. I think that one's a Bible verse. And it says, squirrels. <laughs> And then this bag came out so cool. I want to show you guys. Isn't that so pretty? That is coffee dye, or coffee, excuse me, leftover coffee, avocado water mixed together. And then I um, baked it in the oven, and that's how it came out. And then I stamped that um, Bible verse on it, and I fussy cut this guy out, put him on it. And then I did this really pretty collage on this card. I like this one. Um... And then did some pretty, oops, some pretty stitching around that. In the back, I did some um, oxide sprays on the back. So, yep, just more uh, Artie Mays. Little collages everywhere. A little tag. It's pretty. 
animals with crazy stitching. Yes, I know I stitched through his nose by accident, <laughs> but just little collages. This is a little fold out. Um, just little nature um, quote leaves. I did this um, stenciling. Oh, here's a little dangle. Uh, here is a fold flip out or a flip up, I guess. Little flip she can journal on. Notebook. Um, I did that with alcohol inks. And it just flips all the way up. And then we got this paper here. Um, this is a flip. And then we have a journaling card on top of some paper that I dyed. This is one of the tags I really love. <laughs> so that is this side and you can stuff stuff inside these strings because they hold things. Um, stuff stuff inside the strings. You could stuff papers or notes or whatever in there. <laughs> and then I just did the Tim Holtz little mini ephemeras. Um, I just added the, the oh what is that? Mm, I can't remember what I used for it but I think it's I don't know, the glaze, like triple glaze or something. And then um, this side is really cute. And I just put, I made this with my oxides. It's like a giant um, ticket. <laughs> and I love the colors. It came out so beautiful. I love oxides. They're so pretty on the paper. And then so she can journal on that and just slip it right in here. But here's how the tag looks. Isn't it pretty? It's just lots of decoupaging and different inks. And then there's a pocket. And then she also said she likes waterfalls, so I tried to add waterfalls everywhere I could. I swear, I think I just saw a spider. I'm trying not to freak out. <laughs> uh, but I just like the way this card looked. It already looked like that, like kind of grungy. So I didn't even decorate it. I just thought it was cute. So I left it. So there. All right. Move along, girl. Move along. All right, images, pretty, pretty. We got the birds. I put that pretty applique on there. There's lots of stitching. Um, this is actually fabric with paper on the back of it, and I put sparkles all over it, just a bookmark that she could write on. She can write here. There's a lot of writing places on, in this book, actually, just because I couldn't fill up every page or it would be 20 feet long. This is one of my favorite oxide backgrounds that I've made. I love these colors together. These are my favorite. This is my favorite combination of oxide colors right here. Absolute favorite. Love it. And that's the new speckled egg color that I'm just obsessed with. It's so pretty. That's the rusty hinge speckled egg and then I use um, the stain spray in walnut stain. So pretty. And then look at that. Isn't that so cute with the little snails? I love snails and mushrooms. So naturally I fell in love with that paper. Um, and then I just put this bear here. So cute. And, oh, and this is really cool. So this... Oh my goodness. This is so hard to show. <laughs> um, this belly band actually it looks kind of like tree bark. I did that on the jelly plate. I don't know how much it's going to show or if you can see it. I'll try to hold it up. Uh, just the middle section. And then the leaf shapes, those cutouts right here, I just cut those out like by hand. Um, I did That's Yupo paper with alcohol inks on it. And I just cut leaf shapes very like loosely and fast <laughs> and put the applique there. And then I just made some journaling cards that are, you know, cute in there. Stuffed it with a bunch of them. I'm not going to pull them all out, but yeah. So there's that. And then this is, oops, sorry guys, I'm trying my best. <laughs> I promise you, I really am trying my best. I hope it's not too bad. Um, okay. We're already like an hour in. Um, okay. So then we have this flip here. This is just scrap paper flip. And, uh, these are, um, little wolves. Then we have another Edith Holden page. The other side of that paper I did with all the layers. 
Um, then we have another card there. Got more flips coming up. Let's see, we got this guy. It's a little secret journaling spot. Um, under here, there's, I thought that was pretty. I actually cut that out by hand. I was proud of myself. <laughs> I just cut it, the shape of that. I'm not good at cutting, so I was like, yay, go me. It was the exact same size. You did it. Oops, as I tear that with my nail. Um, and then the background to this is the jelly plate. The background to this owl was done on the jelly plate. If I can ever get it out. Okay, um, there's a little snippet. And this butterfly is a little pocket. And there's some paper I made. I dyed. Um, same with that side. A little journaling card. This is one of those, um, this was from, I saw this on Teal and Tattered, and I think she, Teal and Tattered, is that her name? I think so, and, um, I, I think that's her name, sorry if I butchered that, and then, um, I think she got this from Wendy, but it's a flip, and I've already showed you guys, but some people might not have seen it. So there's a little tag here, um, and then there's a mini tag inside. <laughs> it's all decorated cute. Look at that cute. Um, little bird, and then there's a window. That's on some handmade paper, or some mulberry paper, I think. Um, and then there's a pocket right here. It says fly away. There's wood grain that's oxides in the background. Um, oxides and um, embossing powder. And then I cut out some tabs that I inked. That goes in there if I can get it in. And then it flips over. There's this side that sorry silk that I dyed. Again, just bits and pieces that I collaged <laughs> with that dark. Um, vintage medium on top. I like that look. And then it flips over. Oh, and then there's this side. And then this side is a collage as well. Um, yeah, so just different things. Oh, I missed a pocket, didn't I? I'm so confusing myself, sorry. Um, here we go. There we go. Um, more inking and stenciling. And then I just did that, yeah. <laughs> I'm like butchering this. Come on now. Get in there. <laughs> Alright, I can fix it after. Okay, so I did put this in here. I knew these um, real leaves, because they're fragile. They're really, like, really fragile. Um, these are dried leaves. Uh, I put them in there, and then I ripped them on purpose, because I wanted it to look like a caterpillar was eating on them or something. <laughs> so I think that came out pretty cute. I think that's Artie Mae's background. I don't like that side. It's going to be a two hour video if I don't speed it up. Um, there's mulberry paper with the bunny. This is vintage hymnal paper from the 50s. This is um, from the Ideals magazine, 1950-something. Um, I love that image. It's really pretty. Lots of stitching everywhere. Um, this is a snippet up there in the corner. That's a little pocket with just a little mousies on there. I love that snippet. It came out cute. Lots of Tim Holtz mini ephemera. This folds out. That folds out. And then we have little mini tags. And then this opens, there's a pocket here, this opens, and then this opens, and then there is a little mini tag in there. And then that opens, okay, and then we just have a pocket with some squirrel ephemera, this is medieval mirage paper, um, a pocket, the background has lots of layers decoupaging and stenciling and then there's just a tag with some distress on the back 
more bunnies. And I love this right here. Uh, this belly band, I think, was from... I saw... Nikki Attigan? Nikki Attigan, I want to say. Musings by Nikki is who I know her by. <laughs> That's how I know her. Uh, but anyway, she did this with the masking tape and then just literally stuck the masking tape sticky side up. And then she just ripped pieces of or had pieces of scraps and just put them down onto the tape and it was like genius. Then sewed across it and I just love how it came out. It was awesome. <laughs> um, and then that was uh, more inking. She did say she wanted a lot of my inking in here so I tried to do a lot. And here's some, here's what they these little dangles look like. Um, so what I was saying, if you want to cut these off, Donna, you can always just cut them right here, and you're not going to hurt anything. And you could just use the, you can use these beads for something else if you want. So, um, and then we, oh, if you guys saw my haul, this is one of those awesome um, rub-ons from. I'm trying to think of the name, folk art. Ooh. There we go. See that dragonfly? Isn't it so good? And that is a rub-on. Usually they don't go on that great, but I love those folk art ones. And you can get them at Joann's in a big package. They're like 13 bucks, but you get a lot. And you can use them on glass and everything. Um, so there's more inking. Pocket. Little quote up there. I haven't been reading the quotes, but they're really cute. Um, that one... I can't read it because I can't see from here. <laughs> I think it says, Go forth under the open sky and listen to nature's teachings. Um, and then here we go. We have some birds over here. And that's more oxide background. Each of these is a little pocket with a little decorated um, tag. <laughs> little fabric and stamping on each of them. I'm not going to take them all out. Pocket, pocket, pocket. And then there's some more bird um, cards in here. This is from the Vintage Ideals Magazine, the 1950s one. Um, and then this is more of that beautiful hymnal paper, more of that beautiful um, mulberry paper here. And then this is from a really old magazine from the 40s with the fawns on them. I thought it was so cute, so I just put that on with our vintage tape. And then there's another collage pocket that I made out of a time card. I don't know if you can really see the collage on it. I can't hold it up. I've been trying to hold them up, but it's kind of hard. So there's the collage. It's kind of on there crooked. <laughs> and then all of the um, little tags inside are really cute, but I don't want to pull them all out. It says, Lord, let me make a difference for you that is utterly disproportionate to who I am. And there's just a bunch of foliage, if you will. Um, and there's more writing papers. Um, I did this one with the in the oven. It looks so cute. Um, here is tracing paper. I just made like a tracing paper pocket and put a feather inside. And I think that was something I, I, I don't know. I saw so many people do that and I love it. I know I saw Musings by Nikki do something like that, and um, definitely Crafty Lore, I think. Um, this is a rub-on. It looks like a print, but it's actually a rub-on sticker. Um, the forest and the rest of it's uh, a digital. And then I put a little quote up here. Every flower is a soul blossoming into nature. And then decorated that, put the tree on there. There's a little pocket here with ephemera in it. There's a Bible verse with stitching on top of paper that I dyed. I put this little guy, little, can you see this little goose head? <laughs> um, this is from the jelly plate. I did a bunch of little mini tags on the jelly plate with some grass over here. Isn't that cute? Um, this is a flip. Oh, I love this one. Okay, so this is a little flip and it's a haiku that says, Giddy grasshopper, take care. Do not leap and crush these pearls of dewdrop. And it's by Kobayashi Isa. And I think I said that wrong. But anyways, um, I tried to make little pearls of dewdrop everywhere. Can you see? Can you see? They came out really cute down there. And then there's a little grasshopper down there. 
trying not to crush the pearls of dewdrop. And that grasshopper is a rub on as well. And that paper is paper I dyed. And then this is from a vintage uh, magazine these bears and I just did a punch there there's some vintage papers in there and I just made this little ribbon or yeah I don't know what to call it lace bow and then I sewed all those oops did I skip a page yes I did okay so here's another one of those papers that I did with lots of layers um, so if you can see that there's lots of layers gesso and stamping and stenciling and um, the vintage Mod Podge, and let's see, there's leaves and ephemera everywhere. <laughs> but it looks pretty cool. And it feels like one sheet of paper. It's pretty cool. Um, and then we have all this, lots of sewing. <laughs> and then this is from another vintage magazine cutout. Um, this vintage book papers in here. Um, eco dyed and lots of st sewing around the edge. On this page, I did lots of, of course, oxide background. I made a belly band out of different scrap papers, and um, these trees are from the vintage, or the the 1960s um, little golden book encyclopedia. And then I just made this little cute little book. I like it. Came out super cute. Some vellum in there, little flips. And then the mama and the other baby on the back. Aww. And then, um, let's see, these birds are cool because they move all around. You can actually move them whichever way your little heart desires. They kind of just go everywhere. You can go up and down. They kind of fly everywhere. So I thought that was cool. Tried to make them so they could kind of go every which way. <laughs> so I just had them sitting like this. So there we go. I tried to put the three most powerful birds I could find on there. Thought those were cool. And then we have this side is one of my favorites. This page is so pretty. It's just a um, um the tree and the butterfly came out of a book that was about moss and I thought it was so cute, just a kid's book. So I put the fake moss all over it and then the background is just all different kinds of tissue paper and um, napkin and mulberry paper. This is from a vintage ideals magazine and I put this little uh, saying down here. And then I just decorated the inside with vintage fabrics and some textured papers and images. Um, going to the mountains is going home. Again, that's the other side of all the decoupaging. And added some prints, digitals. Um, this is a digital onto scrap paper. Little snippet there. These pockets I made with just some pretty inked mini tags inside and that one's got a belly band but I don't feel like taking it out there's a stamped back or stenciled background with oxides and we have this little pretty little bluebird that cute little dangle and it just keeps going and going this is from a vintage magazine and then I got this um, from the little golden book about trees and that's um, avocado, water, and coffee stain. thought that came out cute. Um, there's also, oh no, not on this page. Little collage with bunnies. These are Rita flips. I think that's what they're called. Aren't those pretty, the little deers? I love those little deers. Um, and these are just little images with inking on the back. Uh, yeah more stenciling. This is a little envelope that I collaged. Um, this is from a tea bag that I had. It said, One Touch of Nature Makes the Whole World Kin by William Shakespeare. Uh, this is cute. Little bunny card I made into a little journaling card. There's the other side of that paper that I made. Different layers. 
and I just added this fern on the side. Um, this is a if I can undo it. <laughs> if I can undo it, there we go. <laughs> a little flip out. Oh, it's all messed up. If you can see the whole thing, I don't know, but it's gonna be hard to show. Okay, so I made that. I painted it uh, on the. I did that on the jelly plate at the bottom here um, to match the pictures. So I think I did an okay job. It looks pretty cool. And there's several papers there, but I can't flip through them and show you at the same time. They all are like that coffee dyed or painted from the jelly plate. I love the way the jelly print came off. Um, that's from a vintage magazine, the image. So, yeah, just different layers of papers. They're all cool. So, let me just... Oops. Oh. Just don't want it to get forgotten. <laughs> I know I probably won't tie it up and then I forget. Okay, and then we just have this pretty image. I love how those printed. We're almost done. This is a really pretty poem called Omnipotence. Now this was going to be a uh, paper clip, but it just wasn't, it was too heavy. It wasn't working out. <laughs> so it's just a layered collage, I guess. Um, let's see. This little dangle here. Oh, I love this one. It's so pretty. Um, this is just a really pretty background that I did uh, with different markers and gesso and rice paper. And then I glued this pocket on. I love that image. So pretty. Mrs. Coggs, I think. <clears throat> and then there's a couple journaling cards and uh, book pages. Um, I did some, I don't know what that stuff's called, <clears throat> but there's a lot of it in here. I forget what it's called. Uh, nouveau drops. Okay, there we go. I did nouveau drops on all of this, <laughs> if you could see that or not, but yeah, there's lots. And then I added some birds here and some flowers. This guy, this flips out, and then there's a pocket back here, top of that beautiful art archaeologist and I love this little tab I made it came out so pretty the inking and then this is um, a piece that we made together actually a while back from um, Gail Augustinelli one of her journaling cards and one of her ephemera videos and then there's the back and just did some stamping that goes in here. Actually, it fits better this way. And we have, um, I fussy cut out a little saying there. I can't read it from here, sorry. But they're all like nature sayings, and, or quotes rather. Here's another winter scene. Winter animals. Um, and then all of these, they're all stuffed with you know, winter tags, or winter tags, with tags that can be journaled on in the back. I won't take them all out, but I jelly plated all those tags. And the background is pretty cool. I did the background, different layers of um, tapes and gesso and paints. And then there's um, 3D snow, which actually got some ink on it, but that's okay. There's a, oh, there's this little guy in there, that's cute. <laughs> I don't know if I'll keep him in there, but anyways, there's snow, the 3D snow everywhere. Here's a pocket with a little guy in there, and then there's a tree. I like how that tree um, le like went through to the other side because it kind of oh, there's lots of sewing too. But anyways, the tree went. I can't talk, girl. The tree stencil went through to the other side <laughs> and kind of looked cool with this little squirrel. And that's a little mini envelope. It says, enjoy the little things. And he's got a little nut. 
And then this is a really pretty, I think this is Liana Scrap, I'm not sure, I could be wrong, this image. But I put a little applique on there and just some um, powder, deck, um, uh, embossing powder. And then these are little hexagons that open up. And I um, embossed them with the best embossing powder ever. I love this stuff. It's called Speckle from Tim Holtz, or from Ranger. And they open up. And there's animals. It's hard to open it with holding the book this way, but there's trees and animals under all of them. And then this is from a vintage magazine. This is one of those... Um, there's lots of sewing, and this is one of those definitions. It says, the interplay between light and leaves when the sunlight shines through the trees. And I thought that was very fitting. I put some gold around it. Um, there's a poem about clouds. More pretty trees. Pocket collage. I did lots of mono um, stenciling. Just one color, but lots of different stencils on the back. And then this is just a tag. Lots of different inking about the hair. There's vellum on it. And then this is really pretty. It's got the little beaver. Just a little secret journaling spot. And then this is a flip up that flips up onto avocado dyed paper. I don't know if you can really see that side of the tag or not, but it's really pretty. Let me try to show you. <laughs> it's like really pretty. I don't know about this part, but the tag is pretty. I probably could have fixed that, made it a little better, but yeah. Girls gotta, gotta stop sometime. <laughs> I could just keep fixing it and fixing it. So here's more penguins, there's an envelope there that I dyed, um, little whatnots and what have yous, little belly band, penguins and birds and stuff, and this is one of my favorites, this um, is just a really pretty nature poem, and then um, all that but this is the coolest okay so can you see the water it looks like water I'm trying to move it see if you can get the glare you see what I did there hopefully you can see it I tried to make the water look like water <laughs> um, I hope it's working so I used Nuvo on it very carefully <laughs> on starting at the top going all the way down so I hope you can see this, what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm trying to make it look like water. Um, and then actually that's a secret pocket. So she can put some, Donna, you can put some stuff in here and, and hide it if you want. But there's mosses and all kinds of fun stuff. Stones. And there's more of that pretty paper. Come to the woods for here is a rest. Penguins. Butterflies. I put 3D tape under there. Flowers. Mushrooms. I cut these rocks out of um, wallpaper. Here's a tag. You can journal on. A little snail action there. Here is the elastic band, the only one I put in. So here's just extra papers, Donna, that I put in here for you. And you can just take them out, use them, and store whatever you want in this elastic band. So it just comes out like that. And you just slip it right back in. So you can put whatever you want in there. And there's a uh, actually a coloring page right here that I wanted to put in. Because I think... That went to one of your coloring books that you got. <laughs> so, I'm going to slip that in there for you before I forget. There we go. Cool. 
So you can stick whatever papers you want in that elastic part. And there's writing there and there. You can, um, let's see. Oh, this is the last signature. We'll try to be quick. So I love this. So this um, is a beautiful image from Mrs. Coggs. Little Bible verse that opens up cute little squirrels. And then over here we have, um, it says, behind the clouds is the sun still shining. And this opens up and there's animals behind it. But I actually had already um, put the animals there in the clouds before I found this little um, saying. Otherwise I would have put a sun behind it. That would have made more sense. But anyways, it's so cute. Um, and then here we have a mouse with lots of stenciling and stamping. And, oops, oh, goodness. Sorry guys, I am stuck here. It's just so hard to show big journals on film. Um, and then we have this guy here. He, his background went so good with this ar archaeologist background. The eco died. So pretty. And then that's a bunch of messy stitching. I just left it so that she could put whatever she wants in there. And then I don't know if you can see on this page, but um, there's that gl like that glare. I went around with my pens, and then um, this is the Distress Glaze around the edges. I love what it does to the edges of papers. It looks so pretty. <clears throat> And then there's a little, uh, all things share the same breath, the beast, the tree, the man, the air shares its spirit with all the life it supports. Chief Seattle. And there is some paper that I made, that I dyed and baked in the oven. Made a little collage there. Some decoupaging of some rice paper on the side. Then these are just, um, little images that I just put um, the Tim Holtz glaze around. Oops, looks like I gotta glue that down in a minute. Um, on the back I did do some foiling, just some gold um, foil sporadically. Oops, I hit you guys, sorry. And then this is with the gold pen. I did that gold everywhere. Just kind of painterly, like messy. Um, definitions and more nature um, poetry. I gotta remember to, let me mark that page, to glue that down because apparently I didn't do a good job. We're almost done guys. Um, this is a flip so I just uh, gessoed the back of, or this paper and painted it and stenciled it. And then we have this flip here. And there is another poet, poem about moss and the earth. And then I found this cool image out of a very old vintage encyclopedia. I thought that was very pretty. And then this is cool. Did uh, I like this edge there with the sewing on the vintage laces and trims. Well, the brown one's not vintage, but the laces. Um, this is the Rocky Mountain Forest trees, which are from that Golden Book Encyclopedia, the vintage one, um, with some vintage music paper, and then this is just a little journaling card I made, and this little guy kind of just goes back and forth, <laughs> and the back of it says handmade with love, I stamped that, and I stamped this, and then I cut the um, leaves out. And these leaves actually were on that cool paper that I did with alcohol ink. So I glued it on there. Looks pretty cool. And let's see. So I'll put him back here. Oh, okay. And then this right here is actually covering something. So just wanted to point that out there, Donna. <laughs> You'll see in a second when I get there eventually. If I get there. Come on now. Okay, this, um, oh look, isn't this mushroom so cute? And these are Sarosky, I can never say that, Sarosky crystals on here. These little ones, these little brown and yellows. I love those, they're so pretty. And then this pretty mushroom. 
Um, but this right here, actually, you have to be very careful, Donna, the way you do it, because this is uh, very fragile. But it does go down, not up, but down into a secret drilling space. Um, that's jelly plated, and then the paint, and then there's gold foil around the edges. Isn't that pretty? I got the gold foil out just for you. That stuff is so messy to me, but I, it came out really pretty. So, um, like actual gold foil, not the pen. So, that's really pretty. And then jelly plate. And then you can just cover it back up very gently. Because it's very, these are real feathers, so they're very delicate. Um, so just be careful doing that. There's one more delicate thing I'll show you in one second, and then we'll be all done. Um, here's some more gold foil, and more of that, um, embossing powder from Tim Holtz, the glaze. And then we have some paper that I dyed and baked. I stamped and, um, sewed. Another little baby mushroom. Uh, there's some vintage rickrack and a little collage here on top of the Tracy Fox um, print or pocket and then it says all nature wears one universal grin. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Um, then we have a Bible verse. And then this one I took my pens to and just colored the whole entire thing. <laughs> uh, hopefully I'm still... Yep, okay. And then this is a tag inspired by Artie Mays, her Junk in the Trunk series. Oh no. Um, made out of packaging, two different packages on the jelly plate. Um, I cut holes in them and just put them together with the film on there. Made it a little shaker. You can use it as a bookmark if you want. And then, or I don't know where that went, there or there. And then this is just um, stenciling, stamping, and then this guy actually, he's so cute, he actually is covering a big magnet. So, on this side is a giant tag that I dyed and, um, you know, did my collaging and all that on there. So, you have to be careful, Donna, because this is a very heavy, ma or very, very, very heavy magnet. It is super sturdy so you have to do not pull it by the string because if you pull it down it it will rip the page so you just want to get your fingers in there and gently pull it and it'll come apart pretty easy but just don't pull it by that string it's very heavy duty is the word I was looking for and this is some of that beautiful art, art archaeologist paper and it goes all the way down into that so you have all that writing space and um yeah, I think that looks so pretty. Hopefully you can see it all. <laughs> and then, oh, let's go out of here. And then we have um, this page with the applique, just kind of torn. And we're at the end. This is the last tag. This is gessoed background with different oxides mixed together. And then, uh, um, Oh, I can't remember. Mrs. Coggs, I think. I love that image, though, with the little bears. Can you see it? I hope so. It's so cute. Little bears crawling around. It says curiosity up there. And then this is my last tag for the book, which I just love this tag. It came out really pretty. And then the very last page. Finally, you guys say, oh, if anybody is still here, <laughs> thank you so much for joining me. This is the last page. Um, I just did some, you know, same thing as the rest of the book, leaves, and um, I ended it with this, those metals that I dyed, um, it just says handmade with love, there's a little tree back here, and oh no, oh no, okay, I thought I glued it, I was like, no, let me make sure that can go in, there we go, um, so it's just a journaling card, or I, excuse me, a library card that I inked. I was worried I glued it in. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> Finally. So, um, there's a little fox back here and a deer. 
So I hope you guys like that. It was, um, I was, I wasn't disappointed. I, I'm happy with it in the end, but I do feel like it was so big and I, I do kind of, maybe I shouldn't even say this, but there's a part of me that wishes I did more tricks and less paper. You know what I mean? But I do really, really like it. And I hope that, um, I hope that you like it too, Donna, and that the little mistakes I made or the big mistakes I made weren't, um, too bad. They didn't, um, you know, make you like it any less. <laughs> um, so yeah, I had to get, get back in the game of making these big suckers again, but yep, that's it. And, um, I really, I know that was really, really long. I hope you guys are still here, <laughs> but I hope you like it and I'm not going to film it again. So even if this video sucks, it is kind of what it is. I have to get this in the mail tomorrow. So, um, <laughs> I appreciate you guys so much for being here and for checking out my journal with me, um, and I hope you guys liked it. Just, um, be kind to one another. Yeah, let me know what you think. Um, be gentle with me. I am human. <laughs> um, but thank you, Donna. I just want to say really quick, I cannot thank you enough for everything that you've done to support me as an, as a crafter and as, you know, just as a human because <laughs> you have really given me a lot to um, make me create feel creative and um, just you've given me a lot of work to do and I just really appreciate it and I, I just appreciate you in every way so thank you guys so much it is like light outside and I am still awake so I'm going to wrap it up <laughs> bye have a nice night or day, wherever you are.